We're gonna walk, get some air, okay? Come on. Right. Can't even comfort my own daughter. She hates me. I saved my daughter's life and she hates me. Todd. Your daughter just doesn't know who her father is, all right? She's in a world of pain right now. Give her some time to grieve. Maybe she'll get her head on straight in time and you can tell her the whole story. Yeah. One day, she might even forgive you. Yeah, Eli's right. She just found out about Ross. We, we need to give her time. I don't know. She just reminded me of someone. You know, when she said that she'd never forgive me. Reminded me of someone who never lets go of anything. <gasps> Are we doing the right thing? Can you say you're over your feelings for Skylar? Well then, right or wrong, this is what we have to do. I'll go get my bag. time. Uh, it won't take long. I just came back from the obstetrician. Vicky's letting me stay at her cabin while we try and work things out. I'm glad you're finally going to tell Matthew how you feel. It's good. I would have told him, but it was never the right time. I mean, there was the trial, then his parents took him away, then all this with Danny happened. Sounds like you're fresh out of excuses, baby girl. I know. That's why I'm planning something special for when he comes home. Hi, Greg. Hey, I wanted to let you know that Matthew's been discharged. That's great. So, I guess this means Danny's... They found her. She's fine. I'll bet Matthew's glad to hear that. So, do you know if he's coming home soon? Uh, I think so. I know his parents want to get him back there as soon as possible. Excellent. All right, Destiny out. I know you're mad at him, but please try to be happy for me. Matthew's coming home. Great. I guess that means your brother's coming home, too. This case is officially closed. I told you I don't want to be anywhere near you. And I sure as hell can't live with you. Okay. All right, I know you have every reason to hate me right now, but I am still your mother. And I always will be. Okay, you don't have to talk to me. You don't even have to look at me. But I'm afraid you are going to have to live with me. She can live with me. After all, I am her uncle. After you double-crossed my father? You know, there's plenty of room at Lobby Lane. Absolutely not. I was just suggesting. I have a solution. What? Why don't you take me out back to that bridge and your boyfriend quick draw over there can put a bullet in me, too. Because I would rather be dead in the river with my father than spend one more second with any of you. You could stay with us. Matthew. I heard about your dad. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he's really gone. Look, I meant what I said. If you need a place to crash, you could stay with me, my mom, my Uncle Clint. That won't be a problem, I will it? Really kept your cool with your wife. I don't think I could have done that. I just didn't know what to say. And now I don't know what to do. It's hard when someone you love hurts you like this. Sometimes you just want to get them back the exact same way they hurt you. That's how I always felt when my exes cheated on me. My first thought was always, don't get mad, get even. But how could you possibly get even for something like this? I'm sure that I will think of something. Um, I, I don't, I think that, um, Danny staying with us is such a good idea right now. Why not? We have plenty of room. You know what? It's okay. Oh, wait, Fedora? A word? Okay, I 
I know how you feel about me, all right? But if you would do this for my daughter, I would be eternally grateful to you. Eternally. She needs a place to calm down, to process her feelings, and to stop hating me. And since when is my place where people go to stop hating you? I have nowhere else to turn for her. This won't be for a long time, I promise. Please, please. Danny, we'd love to have you stay with us. Thank you. I promise it'll be like I'm not even there. <laughs> <laughs>